I'm gonna show you how to get easy scribble effects in your videos for free, just like this. What's up guys, I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax and today I'm gonna walk you through on how to get effects just like that in your videos. You're gonna need an editing software to do this, whether that's Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut, and they also work in After Effects as well. First thing you're gonna wanna do is head on over to our free packs section on our website add whatever free packs you want to the cart. I'm gonna be working with the Scribble Effects free sample pack today, and then you're gonna to go to checkout and download that. Once that's downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to unzip it, and then we're gonna hop into our editing software. So once we download it, this is everything that's gonna come in the Scribble Sample Effects pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, and we have about six assets in here for you guys. And then also you're gonna see a PDF with a uh, promo code. So if you use promo code sample 15, you'll get 15% off your order. Um, but we're not gonna need that right now. We're gonna check out the sample pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and import those clips into Adobe Premiere. These are all transparent. So if I come over to transparency grid, we'll see that it's completely transparent. I'm gonna turn that off because it's a little hard to see them. So we have this cool animating arrow. We have this nifty little square animation. We have this body wrap, which I'll show you guys how to use. We have this circle, an X, and we have this animated school. Let's go ahead and throw this on some footage and I'll give you guys some tips and tricks. All right, so I'm editing in a 4K timeline right now and I'm gonna start with this wrap accent because I believe, because this one has one of the coolest effects. That, this one definitely has a really cool effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that right over my footage. So if I play that through, it's uh, scaled up fully. If you're editing in a 1080p timeline or anything smaller, you wanna right click and click scale to frame size. I'm not gonna do that because I'm editing in 4K. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over to position, scale, and rotation. And I'm gonna rotate that, scale it down. So when he takes this right step is when I think I want the wrap to go. Uh, let me speed it up just a little bit. So the original speed felt a little slow to me. So I want it to go pretty quick. So as soon as he takes that step, I want it to start wrapping up his body. Uh, I'm gonna follow this leg right here and I have a uh, position scale and rotation selected. And you can see it's already wrapping up his leg fairly nicely. And here we go. And just like that, does his face turn towards us? We could do it like there. We can speed this up as well. As well, you can also duplicate it. So once it's fully drawn, we can actually loop it out a little bit longer and we just wanna find where the exit point is right there, make a cut right there. And then you can actually extend this however long you'd like, which is a cool little tip. Uh, they're all loopable, so we can make that a lot longer. We can also throw in some of these other accents like we can uh, throw in this arrow, which is pretty, pretty cool and pretty simple to use. You can just drag it wherever you want and we can have it point. We can actually throw another one in if we want and we could either flip it or we can just rotate it down like this and have it point up at him as well. Very cool. They both come into frame. Then we could have it circle him as well since we have that animation. And we could put an X at the bottom lower left hand of the screen. And the cool thing about these is you can also change the color of them really quickly. We'll go into effects, we'll go into tint. Then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna drag that onto this X. Then we'll change the color white to, let's change it to like a dark blue maybe or a light blue. And just like that, we have a cool light blue. Really simple, really easy to use. And another cool thing is we have this little box. Cool thing about this box is you could do some really cool picture in picture effects. So let's say I want like another clip to pop up in the corner there. Maybe let's make it a little bit bigger. I can go ahead and grab some other footage. So I have this footage of him right here and I'm actually gonna make use of that skull as well. So I'm gonna grab that skull and what I'm, I'm gonna speed it up, or I'll extend this clip, that's fine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna track that skull to his face, same thing, all of those, and we're gonna get it nice and, let's wait till it's squiggled in to start making our keyframes. We gotta rotate it just a tad, scale it down quite a bit, and 
it looks pretty good. I'll delete all the old keyframes and we'll move forward. See where it's going. His head's rotating just a bit more. Cool. So that's a decent effect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to nest those two together. So just right click and click nest on your keyboard. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to scale this down quite a bit. And we want to find where we want this to fit in the frame. I think that looks perfect right there. Um, and then what we can do is we can come into opacity and we'll draw some lines where this draws out. And just like that scribbles in and let's say you wanted to animate that in and out what we could do let's say we want to speed this square up a little bit so what we can do is we can also animate it so we can uh, play with the mass expansion and we'll drag that out and then we'll drag it into the negatives until it's gone and then we'll keyframe it back out right here we'll make a keyframe we'll come here and then we'll go expansion and then we'll make it disappear that's a really quick way to do it, uh, definitely works. We can even stylize this a little more. If you wanna uh, throw on posterize time to make it a little choppier, uh, we could change it to like, I don't know, maybe like eight frames a second. And let's say maybe we wanna make it black and white as well to kind of stand out. Um, then we could also throw like a VR glow on it. Let's find that. Let's see how that looks. So here's some basic stuff that I created with just the free sample pack. There's a lot you can do with it. You can see we got some really cool stylized effects and they're really easy to use. Just drag and drop them right into your scenes. They're definitely customizable and you can use these free packs in any of your projects. They're for yours to keep. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We have tons more tutorials on how to edit with our free packs on our YouTube channel as well as our website. If you want to look for some more DaVinci and Final Cut tutorials, we have those as well. So make sure to check those out. We also have paid packs. You don't have to purchase them, but we do have a promo code for you guys, Sample15. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. Definitely want to do some more tutorials on the channel. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.